All right, well, that was fun. Blowouts are fun, huh? Padres, it didn't look like it was going to be a blowout. That was a long day of baseball. There was the long rain delay. Jackson Wolf makes his big league debut, has a quick first inning, and then there was the long delay. Over an hour they had, that he had to wait, Padres put him back out there. And for me, I was not surprised by that decision. It was going to be a long day. They knew that. You probably didn't want to go to Brent Honeywell that early. It's Jackson Wolf. He's making his big league debut. This isn't a 40-year-old. He's amped up. I think you got to give him that shot to go back out there, and Bomell did, and he ended up pitching okay. It was not like the, the best outing, I didn't think. It wasn't an outing I was expecting, to be honest. Now, I think going in on the pregame thoughts, I didn't expect really anything out of this outing, so maybe I'm being hypocritical, but... I was, I was expecting more strikeouts. I would say that. I was I think he struck out one guy in this outing, so I was expecting more. But this is the big leagues. It's not double A. And, you know, the velocity, it doesn't blow guys away. So the location is going to have to matter. And, you know, the, the arm angle, I think that can help, you know, the first couple times through. But these guys are probably going to adjust. So we'll see. If he has a long-term future here with the Padres, is he going to be a reliever at some point, just like a one-inning guy? We're a long way away from that, but that, that those are just questions that popped in my head here watching this start from Jackson Wolf. I don't know if he's going to be a long-term starter with the Padres, but it's great that he was able to get the win. You know, there's, there's not a lot of Padres pitchers that are homegrown. They get the start and they get a win in their debut. And seeing a player's family, uh, you know, during the Major League debut, maybe some fans are like, all right, we get it. His family's excited. But for me, that never gets old. Seeing those reactions, it's great because those families put so much time into those players, um, you know, getting them to practices when they were kids and paying for tournaments and just spending so much time uh, at ball fields and really caring and doing whatever they can to help their kid get their dream. And so it's really cool to see that uh, in Jackson Wolf's family was pumped up. And uh, offensively, I know I spent a lot of time there on Wolf, but offensively, I mean, it was great. But this is one of these days where I'm not sitting here like going to have a whole lot to say about the Padres offense. Maybe I will tomorrow on the show after the series finale. But for me, it's like, great. This was a really fun watch. You know, it was a lot of uh, watching those home runs and be like, oh, that ball was crushed. You know, uh, Kim homering, Campy homering, a four hit day from him. That was huge. Um, Manny homering, right? They had that deficit, came back, three run home run. All of a sudden they have a lead. Uh, Juan Soto looks really, really locked in right now. I mean, he's not just smashing balls, uh, you know, hitting home runs yesterday, but hitting balls the other way when he has to, just taking the pitch where it is. And that's the real Juan Soto. And you look at the numbers, yeah, slow start, but he has been really good this year for the Padres. And no, I don't think they should trade him. Um, and with each win like this, they already weren't going to sell. At least that's what the public mentality was for Seidler and Preller. With these wins and Suarez coming back and Campy like this, like I, I just don't see them selling right now. Uh, but getting back to the offense, like, it was great. You know, Crony, he loves hitting in Detroit. But can they do it again? Can, you know, are we going to sit here tomorrow and say, man, they should have saved some of those runs that they scored today for tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, they got to sweep this crappy Tigers team, don't they? I mean, they're not going to make the postseason if they just take series. They take two out of three because – the teams ahead of them, they're not going to just go lose every series. So at some point, you got to sweep these bad teams, especially earlier in the year when you lost series to bad teams. So hopefully they can get the sweep tomorrow. Good shot with Joe Musgrove on the mound. So it was a fun win, a long day. Um, can they do it again? That's the question. I feel like I'm going to keep saying that because of the hole that they've dug themselves.